special uh, Wednesday night fights. I guess post Evo when it's Wednesday night fights, everybody's been uh, practicing their characters. They're they're pro they're hot right now. You know they're ready. They've been pr they've uh, they've gone through Evo, had a good time. I think Nitro keep pulling playing. out the hero. You know what? I think Hero actually does really well against Peach. Does she? Yeah. yeah. I mean, big fireballs. Uh, really good fair. Did it, can I even interrupt what Peach she wants to do? Those look like bees. You see the bees? I, I, I can see what you're talking about, but <laughs> it's not bees. They're like sparks of like electricity. But I, I, can, I can see what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. So interesting uh, choice by uh, uh, Nitro. I'm wondering why he went... I mean, generally yeah, speaking... Maybe just a troll? No, no. Uh, definitely, like, against Razo, it's always been kind of, like, even or, like, slightly in Razo's favor. So, yet again, if you have a sword character that you love to play, might as well try to play it versus Peach. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, and, uh, yeah, so Razo just catching that up with a down tilt. Gonna have to try that. Um, didn't even know that was a thing. And uh, Nitro shooting more bees at Razo. Yep. And unfortunately, you know, that side B is just going to be caught by the, the Kamehameha. Yeah. That move is so strong. I mean, Dude, it's kind of what I feel like Samus's charge shot should be because that takes so long to charge. And, and uh, Dude, yeah, that like charges like 25% faster and does like... 10% more damage. Yeah, but hey, DLC, dude. We got we, we paid money, so we gotta make this guy good. Good. <laughs> and before Banjo and Kazooie are actually like garbage tier. Uh, I hope not. I really want to play him. Uh, shoot eggs, my opponent. Oh, no, I like uh, how Razo kind of spaced that fair perfectly and just put it on the platform. Using his float, but uh, in a way that he could get punished by any landing aerial. I love his spacing with the side bees. You know, he just makes it really hard for Razo to pick anything like kind of like a neutral. Yeah, and Nitro <laughs> trying desperately to get this charge off, or at least he's not interested in fighting right now. He just wants to charge it. But now it's full, and he is going in. Okay, oh. wow, no punish. Right. Yeah, I mean, he tried going for the low recovery. Ledge, hop, that. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like, why not? Just because it has so much hit stun on it that, like, even on block, like, you're not going to be able to get a hard punish off of it when he grabs ledge. Yeah, I mean, that might almost be stronger than this fight. Uh, I think oh, he thought, there. he thought bounce was zoom. That's oh. why he went for it. Yeah, you hate to see that. Uh, but, I mean, for not being that experienced with this character, Nitro is doing really well. Or at least that's the impression I get. If he right. made a mistake like that, then he probably is not uh, put as much time into this character as he has with Richter. Mm, of course. I mean, yet again, I mean, he's doing pretty well so far, and this is against Raza's Peach, so... Yet again, Razo's trying like 100%. So, you know what? This Rick. I do see the serious face. Yeah. And now we got the Kamehameha on wave. He's he's at kill percent. That's he's right. He's at kill percent. Yeah. And if he floats, like, he can't air dodge. He can't air dodge. He has to pull back down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, catches the roll in and gets the Kamehameha. Yeah, he's doing a great job with those Kamehameha's yeah. catching him, coming off the ledge. And then he caught him with that ledge jump. Yep. Uh, but it's such a strong move, and Peach being a floaty means. Uh, and weight is about medium, so she does pretty quick to that. Um, that all that Nitro really needs to do is land those, uh, continue to land those, it seems like. And he's, he does just so much damage. He's able to win neutral a few times and maybe just kill Peach off that way. Oh, yeah. And I think uh, what's going to determine whether he's able to win this next one is if he lands those, because he's been kind of just going away, charging it, and using it really well, I think, in this matchup. All right. Just like we're seeing right now. 
Yeah, Look at that, 54% already. Specials. He's doing so much damage. Yeah. Uh, it like, just feels like they messed up or something with these this, these moves. Like, how do they do so much damage? Oh my god. And I like what he's doing. He's using like the the upbeat to kind of like get like a good like out of shield option. I think it's like his only good out of shield option. But you know what? At least it, it gets your opponent off of you, and you get eight percent off of it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that, I think that's that's really valuable because you're resetting neutral and you're um, yeah just getting your opponent away. You're making them, you're punishing them for their aggression. Oh, and we got a stitch, and we got oh my! God. I mean, we hit him three times with the needs? stitch face, and he still got it. I mean, who, oh my god, he falls into the kaboom. It just sucks you in, dude. Oh, and more damage. He did over a hundred percent with that stitch. Right. I mean, that's who crazy. needs an aerial? That can do like 30% when I can just throw a stitch at you three times. Yeah. Yeah. That was extremely lucky. Right. And and Razo has just. He's got such a lead now. Right. And now he's just going to sit back. He doesn't care. Uh, I, I think Nitro should just continue to do what he was doing with charging these weapons. I think he's just kind of being baited into going in because he has this uh, this buff. All right. And there's the zoom. And yet again, dropping shield, unfortunately. And yet again, getting caught with the roll by Razo. Now Razo really catching on to how he wants to get back on the stage. And you know what? Not going to be enough to find the kill. And you know what? Now Razo's up. Two stocks does nothing. Yeah, wow. Well, Nitro's just kind of letting uh, Razo press buttons to some degree here. All he really needs is one hit with the, his sword, but he's going to instead do it with his specials like he's right. got most of these stocks with. Ooh, I love that. Using the thunder just to do a little yeah, bit of extra damage off of the Nair. He's doing a great job with these, these specials. But the problem is that he needs to go in and hit with his sword because this character has mana, right? You need, you need hits to get more of these spells. Right. But he's, he's managed to find a good balance between going in and, and going out. It's just that uh, unfortunate uh, destructive stitch face combo that is giving Raza such a huge lead. I know, I love that because that zoom basically let him take center stage for free. And no okay. one tried tried avoiding the, the turn up, but you know what? Raza yeah, gonna be to like get really tricky with air with his recovery. Right. But Raza not falling for any of it. He's like, okay, you, you cheese me once <laughs> with the hero. Cheese All me right. once, shame on you. <laughs> like cheese me once, shame on you. Cheese me twice, I'm an idiot. Or maybe you just got a crit. Yeah. <laughs> and now we are going to see where we go. I wonder if there's going to be a, a, a character switch at this point for Nitro. Like, he got his one win. Is he content with that, or is he willing to go and try to stick things out with the hero? I think he should stick things out with the hero. Eh? The only reason, or well, the, the only reason last game was not close is because uh, Razo just, <laughs> just took an entire stop with that, that stitch race. He got really lucky. He got that one opening, and he just destroyed Nitro with it. But um, we're going to see Richter come yeah. out instead. Go with the tried and true main. Uh, what? No, I'm just noticing the signs are in Mandarin. I, th I thought they would be in Japanese. Oh, no, some of them are in whatever. It's, it's I'm like getting distracted. A, it's a like it's a train station. So. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so strong play is coming out from Nitro starting out. He's racking up huge damage with his, these ledge traps. Ooh, I love that, calling out the jump from Brazo. Can he get the kill here, though? We'll see, because I think, I have a feeling, yeah, if he lets Brazo back, he's going to take some big damage. And I was right on the money, but let's see if uh, Brazo can get more. Oh, no, nope, that's oh, dead. Oh, and he's dead. Yep. Wow. So uh, Nitro failing to get the kill there, and that costing him. But 
he's gonna manage to rack, down, rack up some more percent. He just still can't get this kill, though. I, I mean, I guess Richter doesn't really have that many confirms, though. Would you expect Richter to be a character that's going to, uh, you know, kill? Oh my god, he got another one. He just okay. threw it away. Yeah. Just like, nah, I mean, I, I gotta prove skill at this point, right? I'm not going against the RNG character. I don't need RNG on my side. Yeah. It was, it was fine when he was fighting Hero, but now he's not going for it. So, what we. How, how does Richter get most of his kills, would you say, in a matchup like this? I mean, in a matchup like this, it's either going to be off of a straight tipper, uh, uh, or tilt, or order or back air, or a down beat to forward smash confirm. Or just a uh, forward tilt ledge, you know, when he, he reads the, the get up option. Okay. But, yeah, so particularly against, like, Razo, like, I can see Razo living to, like, 150, 200 percent every stock because like if you really don't want to die against Richter, like you won't. You can just avoid all the stuff and like you'll take like nickels and dimes and like but you have like change to spare. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting. It's way like of you, you it. can break open your piggy oh, bank from childhood. Okay, Razo is being there, but no, he Richter saved him. saved him. Oh my god, no, Nitro saved him. Yeah. Uh, and. Nitro might actually die for it. And you know it finally finds the bear, but you know it wasn't Tipper, so not enough. Oh, but cross, yeah, I'm killing. Yet again, cross at like the very ledge of the blast zone. Not even the stage. The blast zone is what it takes to kill with cross. <laughs> at 150 percent. Okay, I like the way that Nitro is playing this. Again, good up the shield. shield, yeah. Okay, back air off that platform there. I'll go falling right into it. Alright. Looking like Nitro's game all of a sudden. Right. But Razo landing that back air, getting the momentum he needs. Okay, he tries to call it a jump there. A little ambitious, but Sometimes you just gotta throw out the Hail Mary, and uh, that's not gonna kill, but Peach is in a bad spot now. Right. Now, this is a lot worse for her now that she's uh, on our last stock. And that Nitro still has two more to work with. Because it means that uh, Nitro's going to, or sorry, Rosal's gonna have to play perfect at this point. Right. And he gets that kill, so he's, he's managed to keep it, uh, but can he manage to keep it up is what we need to find out. I mean, all he needs is that one edge guard, but, you know, is Razo going to be able to find it, or is Nitro going to keep him out long enough to get the kill? Yeah, and we see the ledge traps coming out. A nice parry, but he's not going to get anything for it. And you know what? I love it just... Oh, not yeah. quite. I and love that And that's why you got a pummel, folks. That's why you got to pummel. They're at 180. What are they going to do? Break uh, out until like you pummel like 10 times? No. OK. I, yeah, I would have been sad if he, he, he lost that game because right. he did not pummel. All right. I mean, the only reason not to pummel is if you're trying to go for a DI mix up. You know? That's, that's the only That's the only reason not to pummel. But any other time, like pummel, because it's a, it's free damage, and B, you might not kill without it. Well, sometimes you just want to put your opponent in a bad situation as fast as possible. But the problem is, if you if you do that every time, if you're always doing that same throw, they're going to expect it. So you might as well pummel in most situations. Right. I mean, the second you get grabbed, like unless you have like a di throw mix up like Lucas, where like you can switch between up throw, back throw, and forward throw, and you kind of have to like play like the guessing game of which throw is he going to pick this time, you know. Here we go. Oh, and the hero's he, coming out Yeah, again. he's like, okay, I, I have a stock lead, you know, or I, I have a game lead, so I can afford to, you know, throw out one more game as hero. I think he, he's more than capable of doing this. We saw uh, the first game, he looked really strong, and I thought the second game he looked strong as well. All right. He's burned a lot of magic at this point. Uh, 
I mean, but like, you know, what was Rosa that a stick stitch face again? No, I don't think so. Okay, no. I'm tripping, dude. And yeah, <laughs> he just lands that side B, and it and it's even again. But yeah, he needs to land some hits also so he can get some more magic. Right. And I think that's the weakness of this character is, is once you run out of magic, you're kind of forced to just play footsies with your opponent, and your normals are not that great. All right. But normally you shouldn't run out of magic unless like you're really spamming your uh, specials. I guess that's true. But you, if you find yourself in that spot, in that position, it's it's not good. Especially because if you get knocked off stage, you can't uh, recover, right? Without any magic, you can't use the upbeat. Uh, it depends on which upbeat you use. Like the the lowest one uses like six. The most one uses like eighteen, I think. So depends on how far. And then like zoom uses like four. Yeah. Okay. So. So you need to be careful when you start to run out of magic. All right. Oh, he <laughs> tried to thwack him. Uh, don't do, don't do my boy dirty like this. Oh, try to throw the turnip to intercept oh, the aerial. Oh no! It keeps happening. Oh no. Okay. Okay. So he has both oomph and psych up there. So if he had hit the shield with any aerial, it would have broken the shield. That's disgusting. And he has, he has the one that makes him fast too now. Yeah. That's insane. Dude, 25% off of an. So of what's the difference between Oomph and, um, sorry, I oomph, interrupted you. Oomph and Psych Up? Yes, So I Oomph is, like, imagine Buster Shulk, right? Right. So you take a little bit more damage, okay. but you do, like, 40% more damage. Uh, okay, but, okay. Psych Up is, like, smash, except for, like, one move. There's no demerit to it, but the next move you hit on your opponent will be, like, a smash, will be, like, you're in smash art. I see. He called. He called out the uh, the teleport back to stage there. Uh, just getting lucky there. Yeah. So so both at the same time, but they both increase damage, right? Yes. Okay. As opposed to uh, Smash Monado with Shulk, where it actually lowers the amount of damage you do. Right. But uh, specifically, it also does like a lot more shield damage too. Or Psycho. Psycho does a lot more shield damage. So. Like, forward smash will normally do, like, maybe, like, 50%. With psych up, it'll do, like, 75 to 80%, depending on how far you charge it up. Okay. <laughs> I love how that, that reflected uh, the turn up just took that crazy angle there. Okay. Uh, maybe I was wrong to believe in Nitro's hero, but he could still also prove me wrong, like he just did there with that side B. Oh, yeah. The other thing is that your pummels count as one of the hits. So if you grab somebody with psych up, just throw them. That's right. like the other time like you would never pummel. Oh, yeah, I know. My friend does that to me all the time online. It's very annoying. Just up throw you and kill you at like 80 if you're a floaty. Or maybe even less it's, than that. It For up throw, it's usually like 120, 130. Oh, maybe with, with, higher, with, yeah. with psych up. With oomph, it's like 150, 160. And with like... Everything else, like with no buffs, it's like like 190, 200. Okay. Uh, yeah, Nitro cannot uh, afford to just spam stuff again because he's run, run out of magic. He's got to play neutral, I think. Yeah, and then uh, Razo just goes in with the back air and cleans it up. So now we're even again. Yep. Will we see Hero game five? I'm, I my guess is no. No, yeah, he, he's, he's going to want to win this match, so. Opt well, he did win a game with the Hero. He did win a game with the Hero, but I feel like Razo kind of like figured the game plan, basically. Yeah, and he's going back to Richter. Yeah. But he's got a counter pick now, so he's got uh, an adva some advantage. All right. Three, two, and we're going to the altar. But, but how do you feel hero. about the stage? Uh, I don't know. I haven't had that many uh, that op that many opportunities to play it. It's very interesting. I like the way that the pa platforms kind of move onto the stage. Uh, I, I sort of miss that. I think that Sna Smash just needs a little bit of jank uh, to make it interesting. Uh, I, I feel like this current stage w list at the moment is is too vanilla, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure. 
that's uh, uh, probably not a popular opinion. But so the, the the stage, the platforms that are chosen for the stage are random, right? Yes. But it alters between uh, it alters between basically battlefield, town and city, uh, Kalos, uh, like a stair platform from like the middle to the left side, and then like. One where it's like a platform slanted up, and then like a high platform on the right side up top. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, I. I mean, I. I'd, I'd love to see the top players. They can do some a lot of crazy creative things with these with these stages. Right. Uh, some of which are just disgusting. But <laughs> you know, it, it's. I think we, for sure we should be experimenting with it. I. I'm definitely always in favor of, of more experimenting. How do you feel about this stage? I mean, I like this stage. I'd rather have this stage over Yoshi's any day of the year. <laughs> like, yeah, Yoshi's is just a bad stage. I don't like that stage at all. That stage can, Yoshi's like, disappear. Really to yeah. So, it the fact that disappear. I don't have to use... Yeah, the fact that I don't have to use one of my bands on that stage anymore is actually a godsend. Yeah, but... The yeah, I mean, the issue, I think, with this stage is that the you don't really know what the platform sta uh, layout's going to be, so uh, whether it's going to benefit you or not uh, could be... It's kind of up to chance, to be honest. I mean, you can argue that, like, any stages with, like, transforming platforms, i.e., like, town and city, like, you don't know if that's going to benefit you at the time or not. Well, yeah, I mean, we only have one other stage like that right now at the point at, at this point, right? Because uh, Smashville is just... It, the ma platform, it doesn't move anymore because right. hazards are off, right? Right. So, uh, I guess, yeah, that's uh, really the only other stage with it. I mean, like, see, I think a Randall is, like, a super cool mechanic, and I totally wish he was in this game because it, it's so hype when people, like, land on it or, like, you know... It saves them or, or doesn't save them. I mean, I I like Randall too. He's a nice friend of mine, but you know what? We'll never see Randall because of the, the no no uh, hazards. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, or I, I Nintendo like Yoshi's, yeah. Too. Nintendo could throw us a bone, but uh, uh, they're, they're too busy trolling with with characters like Hero, I guess. <laughs> I like the counter. Yeah, Nitro is uh, having some tr trouble for this game. Yeah. He's actually... Uh, Razo has more of a lead than when he was playing against... Uh, playing against his hero. Yeah. Oh, I always that was like to see how other characters use the turn up. Yeah. I mean, I don't think any other character can really utilize turn up as well as Peach, you know? I think PV Smash Dudes did a whole video on, like, turn up combos you can do. Or it was one of those uh, channels. It might have been. No, it wasn't my Smash Corner. I think it was Beefy Smash Dudes. Yeah, it was probably Beefy Smash Dudes. But you know what? It's one of those things where the the character that's going to utilize Turner the best is Peach. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But I, I, there are a lot of players who I think. Uh, or are there some players who are like, oh, what kind of cool combos can I do with this? And they love to explore their character and what combos they can do. Uh, so sometimes you'll see that. Right. Ooh, there's the air dodge, and yep, oh, that's it. And that is dead. game. And that'll be it for Nitro with a 3 2. Nitro had a good run there, yeah. but he kind of ran out. Ran, it seemed like he ran out of tricks there at the end. Alright, All right, and we're going to have a switch in commentary. Alright.